The beauty look today is um, actually quite fresh. Uh, the reference for the makeup and the inspiration for the girl is like a kind of young um, surfer girl maybe. So she's kind of just come from the beach. She's just come home. Maybe she's going to a rave or something. So she's got really nice fresh skin, a little bit dewy. Um, and then she's got like neon um, eyelashes. So it's just a little bit of a pop of color, something still kind of not too over the top, but you know, something that you could possibly do at home. <laughs> We are basically creating a beachy texture in the hair with the GHD curl wand. So you manage to get this really easy beachy texture. I then sort of scrape the hair back with my fingers. Uh, we've spray painted a load of Kirby grips, bobby pins, and we've kind of very randomly customized the back of the head. It kind of looks like it's been done by themselves, but it's been very cleverly customized by me. We call it uh, digital romanticism, so exploring the digital side of the world that we live in now. We just felt like we're so into all yeah. of the devices that our way we seeing things is starting to change. The way we perceive color, you see everything, it's so vivid on the screen constantly. The way you perceive movement, like your eye and your perception of beauty is completely changing. And so we just felt it's kind of, it's our job to translate it and put it into kind of new, new way of ready to wear. We were inspired by Robert Morris' um, felt sculptures and how he drapes them. So we really wanted to play on that, finding new silhouettes and new ge geometricality. It's kind of a, our signature to work with geometrical shapes. So what we've done this season, we took a big kind of very harsh geometrical shapes and slash them across in different directions and then start draping them onto the mannequin to find the, those kind of really sculptural new shapes from a very kind of basic starting point. We wanted to really work with saturation and all the colors that come into the play of that. So there's a lot of neon pinks and oranges, but then we wanted to also not be afraid to use like iridescent materials and combine the two, but then again, create maybe floral motifs out of them at the same time to have a new kind of digital aspect. We wanted to do the floral motifs, but then we've done them in plastics and silicones, um, just to keep to keep that kind of balance between what is what is beautiful for us, but also what is relevant and what is kind of fun and and that some someone young would want to put on.
And at the same time, all the edging of the garments, you might have noticed, it has edges of bright colors, of silicone things. That's almost like we wanted to explore new territories without hems yeah, or without, without things. Yeah, finishing, no so, linings. Yeah. We were applying silicone straps onto the edge of the fabrics and then slashing through. So the silicone keeps the fabric, it doesn't fray and it doesn't change, but it, it helps us kind of reinvent the way a uh, the garment is it's constructed. It's just more alive and expressive that way, you know, also slashes in the beginning of the collection where it was a streamlined silhouette, but then slashed it here when the movement you expose, you have that adolescence or even sexuality going on there, so it's kind of all these aspects of it. We've collaborated with Microsoft this season. They were really great kind of helping us to kind of challenge how we would look at, at doing the catwalk, how we can show the models in more angles, how we can bring in the distortion that we had going on through the print, how we can bring it into the catwalk and make the... It's like blurring the lines between the reality and uh, what you see and why she disappears into catwalk, she's erasing. There's also that kind of um, the duplication of the pyramid where she walks towards the cameras and she's being filmed and, and it's being duplicated. And, and it's all that kind of, I don't think virtual reality is relevant anymore as a, as a term, but it is that kind of blurred line between our virtual life and this.